Today, we are going to discuss Shakespeare's Sonnet 111. In this sonnet, Shakespeare is responding to comments made by his fellow poet, John Davies, about the social stigmas orbiting around playwrights and anyone else associated with the theater in England at this time. Davies had mentioned in his poem, Microcosmos, that the theater was widely regarded with contempt by the nobles and seen as a peasantly method of entertainment. Shakespeare, whose entire life revolved around the theater, could provide a unique insight into this matter. And so, he decided to offer his insight in the matter to his contemporary, John Davies. Since this was the 17th century, he obviously couldn't just call Davies up and have a conversation. Instead, he resorted to a form of writing that he knew his fellow poet would read that year. In short, he wrote a sonnet and published it to communicate with John Davies. The first quatrain of his sonnet reads, Oh, for my sake, do you with fortune chide, the guilty goddess of my harmful deeds, that did not better for my life provide than public means which public manners breeds. From this quatrain, the reader can truly appreciate the bitterness and disparity Shakespeare summons when speaking of the matter how he blames fortune for giving him such a love and talent for this occupation, but also making the air so lowly considered. He then goes on to describe how a playwright's hands, much like those of a dyer, are stained by his craft for all to see. This again shows how Shakespeare holds no illusions about how poorly his passion was viewed by the upper class, and how, in turn, they viewed him just as poorly. However, in the final couplet of his sonnet, the speaker states, Pity me then, dear friend, and I assure you, even that your pity is enough to cure me. He is saying that so long as people recognize his plight, he is willing to suffer through it and continue to produce artistic pieces for those who appreciate it regardless of how the nobles treat him for it. It is this attitude about the creation of his art that makes Shakespeare a true artist and his works worth remembering for the centuries to come.